Hey guys, this is a follow-up video I'm doing on these LED boards uh, by Whirlpool for their side-by-side -side refrigerators. showed you in this video how to test them, uh, both the 120-volt uh, board as well as these uh, DC boards. And uh, as you can see on this one, I have a defective LED. It's the one circled in red. Uh, it's got that mark in it. So if you see that mark, it's definitely defective and has to be replaced. I use this hot air rework station to both uh, remove the LED as well as uh, put in the new one. This is what the LED looks like from the back. I'm just going to go ahead and, and kind of speed up the video so that, because uh, it does take about um, a good minute, minute and a half, somewhere in there. I set the temperatures to 580 degrees and the airflow I set to 120, which is the maximum. And once the, the solder is uh, liquefied, then you can see it just the air, the air will just remove it for you. I'm going to be transferring this good LED uh, over uh, one to the left. Uh, you can see I marked it with a Sharpie uh, because you want to make sure that you get it in the correct orientation when you replace it. And the trickiest part is uh, installing the LED. You want to make sure that the solder is nice and melted and that you're aligning it correctly. Uh, again, uh, making sure that the orientation is correct and uh, you want to hold the LED there for a good minute, I found, um, or else the, uh, the solder won't uh, solidify. So, and so that's a wrap. I'm testing it, making sure that it's working, and it is. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.